Let us now study about the refraction of light through a glass slab. Here you can see this picture shows a glass slab which is placed in air. And say we consider a light ray which is incident onto it. This uh, here we are drawing the incident ray. It incident at point A. And if we draw the normal and angle of incidence I, as we know the glass slab is denser than air. Air always uh, we consider its refractive index to be equals to one, and for glass here I treat refractive index to be mu. And in the situation as glass is denser medium, it will bend toward normal. And from the direction of its original path, you can say light is slightly deviated, and this will be the angle of refraction. And here we can write according to Snell's law. A refractive index of air we have one, so Snell's law if we apply this one multiplied by sine i is equals to refractive index of glass slab if we consider as mu, it will be mu sine r. This is the relation we use for uh, relating incidence and uh, refraction angle. And here we can see if uh, there is another normal n prime at the other boundary. And as the two surfaces of glass slab are parallel, the angle of incidence on the other boundary would be equals to r. And by Snell's law, we can directly state uh, that final light ray will emerge out in air at the same angle at which it was incident, because as the refractive indices are same for uh, the air uh, from which the light was getting into the glass and the air into which the light is uh, emerging out. Then using this law we can see that the angle will remain same. So the ray which is finally emerging out will be laterally displaced by some distance from the initial direction of the ray. This uh, displacement we denote by delta and here delta we term as uh, a lateral displacement of a light ray, this is due to refraction through the glass slab. And here if we wish to calculate the value of this lateral displacement, here we drop a perpendicular from this point, we name it as B. And so this point we consider as C, and if we extend the normal and it is meeting out on the other surface at point D. And here we can directly write lateral displacement. Here yeah, the delta will be equals to BC, which is the normal on the initial direction of the ray from point B, as BC will be equals to delta. And this uh, distance we can calculate by using this angle, which we can write as I minus R as the whole angle is I. So here this distance BC we can write as uh, in the situation it will be AB sine of uh, I minus R. Here I am using the trigonometry in the triangle ABC. And now the distance AB I can calculate by using the triangle ABD. As uh, here I can write this AB as uh, AD upon cos R multiplied by sine of uh, I minus R. And here if we consider thickness of glass slab is equals to T. Then we can write a T sine of uh, I minus R divided by cos R. So this is the value of lateral displacement of the light ray when it passes through the glass slab having refractive index mu and the value of uh, angle of refraction we can calculate by using Snell's law.